I think for me, it's the right step in the right direction because, you know, he believes that, uh, just, he believes the essence of justice in this case. And he believes that he, he's not been incriminated in any way. So the International uh, 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 Court of Justice also is an impartial organization. So as a result, he can present his case and also claim justice. That was why he changed his mind from, uh, to appear in that, uh, in, the, in, in that court. When the African Union made that decision, it also keeps, you know, a shadow of, you know, credibility on African leaders that reluctance to appear before a court, a court that they've already as, uh, approved and signed, ratified, you know, in its uh, proceedings. So why wouldn't they go there? It, do they want it to provide a shield of covering for them to carry out their misdeeds in Africa? I believe that uh, Uhuru Kenyatta has done the right thing. For the first time, an African leader is ready to appear before an international court to present a case that he believes that he has had, that, uh, that he's in the right. The reason why most African leaders appear in that court is that most of the conflicts in the world are in Africa. And if you look at African, African conflicts, since the, towards the end of the 20th century to the beginning of the 21st century, most leaders have killed more of their people than conflict itself. So definitely that's why we appear, Africans appear before that court more than any other part of the world. So we should not believe that because that African leaders are wishunted. I don't, I don't buy into that. If they believe that they, were, or they will be wishunted, why did they sign the protocol setting up that, that court? If they believe justice to be blind, I think they should all appear and put their case before that court. But if they believe that justice is, is not colorblind, they want to set up their own court to look at it, then the international community will look at them with this thing. I believe the decision taken by Uhuru, for me, is good. It puts, you know, a benchmark for African leaders.